everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my August favourites. I thought I'd film this video for you today because I always watch people's favourites videos. I literally love watching them. I love listening to what they have to say about each product and how it's sort of like personal to them, why they find it so good. Even though for myself I have holy grail favourites that I would refuse to use anything else from, as you've seen in some of my other videos, I say I have used stuff since I was like 15. Recently I have been finding myself sort of reaching for new things and trying to sort of experiment, get a bit out of my comfort zone. So I thought I'd share those things with you today. Just a couple of things that I found that I've been loving through the month. Hopefully it will inspire you to try something new as well. For this favourites video in particular, I'm just going to stick with hair and beauty. I know a lot of people like to bring in their favourite sort of like food and music and things, which I may do in the future, but for now I thought I'd stick to my favourite physical beauty products. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is a product that has been featured in a few of my videos now. I started using this product a little while ago. Ever since I started using it, I sort of thought, right, okay, I'll use it once and then I'll move on to something else if I like it. When I realised I was running low on this product the other day, I sort of thought, okay, right, I need to go and get another one. I realised it was my favourite when I bought three. Yep. I bought three. <laughs> so the product that I bought three of is the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist. This is like the best thing that I've ever tried. I haven't used any other setting spray and I've sort of become reluctant to use anything else. This is a drugstore product, it's fairly new-ish, like their infallible range was it's not that old I don't think. This sort of came out the same time that they launched their contouring palette and at the time I've been watching a lot of makeup tutorials and always at the end they're like oh yeah and then you set with setting spray and then they'll do a little spritz and I was like well I want to use a setting spray, I want to try it out just to see whether or not it actually benefits me in any way of shape or form but I didn't want to splash out and get a really expensive one to start off with just because I thought if I don't like it it's a waste of money then. I think this retails for $7.99 in boots but you get a lot of uses out of this. I think it works a treat. Like I said I keep buying them and whenever I'm doing makeup with anybody else I always say to them do you use setting spray why don't you try this <laughs> especially like the other day when we went out for Emily's birthday and I ended up getting her using it and now she loves it as well it was in her favorites video I think for last month possibly but yes this is probably one of my favorite ones I am at some point eventually gonna try another setting spray but for now I'm pretty happy with this one also I've got two more that I've got to use up what a shame <laughs> so the next thing I bought was from boots and it is an eyeshadow palette from sleek this one is the I Divine mineral based eyeshadow palette in O Naturel 106. Like I said in a previous video, I don't really wear eyeshadow very much, but I sort of thought, well, I need to start trying to. I do wear eye makeup every day, like I wear eyeliner every day. And I sort of thought, well, if I'm going on an event or if I'm going out or something like that, then I want to look slightly different. And if I always just do the same like winged eyeliner every day, I'm always gonna look the same. Yeah, I can put some lipstick on and I'll look a little bit different. But on the whole, I look the same. And I used to love doing eyeshadow, I used to love wearing it. But then I got out of the habit of using it. So I sort of thought, right, okay, if I buy myself a new eyeshadow palette, I don't really have an excuse not to use it. So this is what it looks like on the outside. Really nice, crisp, black, sleek pattern. Packaging. And then when you open it up inside, it's got the, um, oh look, there's my camera. Um, it's got the little applicator here. I just sort of thought to myself that it was kind of a nice beginner type palette. There are quite neutral shades in there. Some are shimmery, some are matte, and you've got quite a wide variety of different colours to work with. Also, it has the biggest mirror in there ever. Yeah, massive mirror, can't fault the palette. Really nice mineral-based shadows that are so pigmented. I'm just gonna swatch a couple on the back of my hand to show you. Some of them are nice, shimmery, and pigmented. So yeah, that's another one of my favourites that I've started using recently. Okay, so the third thing that I wanted to show you today was something that is actually kind of a bit soggy and a bit gooey because I used it this morning in the shower. If you see my Lush Blogger event video, I'll leave the link for that down below, then you would have seen this. This is a seaweed shampoo bar that I got from Lush. I wasn't too sure about it when I bought it. I've never seen one before, never used one before. It sounds like a good idea. May as well just give it a go, see what it's like. After the first time I used this shampoo bar, I went down to my family and I was like, guys, this shampoo bar is the best thing that I've ever used. Like, it's so good. It made my hair feel so clean. And this one in particular is supposed to create volume. It bloody well does. Honestly, they're so good, such good value for money. That one I think was about five-ish pounds maybe, which is incredible for something that lasts up to 80 washes. It takes up almost no room in my shower whatsoever. There are no like massive bottles to throw away. Obviously you would need to wait for it to dry a little bit, but you can take it traveling with you. You wouldn't even need to worry about putting it in a little like 
bag, you know, the ones that you have to put all your fluids and everything in when you go flying. It's just all around such a good product. I can't fault it. I absolutely love it. And there's loads of other ones, so I'm definitely going to go back and buy more of these. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you about is a mascara. And this is a mascara that I've kind of previously used before. I think in a way it's sort of a spin-off from the one that I used before. And it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I have had so many of these. The first one that I had was the normal waterproof one, the pink one that they first originally came out with. And then the second one that I had, I always use now, which is the waterproof one, because I find that my mascara always, always goes down onto my lower lash line, like underneath there, and it just kind of looks like really black and gross and clumpy. This one in particular is slightly different from the other ones. It's a luscious oil blend, and it has a different brush applicator as well. As you can see, it's thicker at one end and thinner at the other. So it makes it easy for you to get the longer eyelashes and the shorter ones in the inner corner. Whereas on the other one, as you can see, it's got a completely different applicator. I really like this one, I absolutely love it, but I find that even though it separates my lashes and makes them look really sort of layered and a bit thicker, it's just they're just it's just an amazing mascara. Like it makes you have eyelashes that you don't have. But then I happened to spot this one out of the corner of my eye the other day when I was looking at the Maybelline counter. And because it was new, it was on offer, so I thought, well, it's on offer, I may as well just give it a go. Then when I tried it on, it gave like a different kind of effect. And then after I took it off, I saw the difference that the oils and things that are in there make to my eyelashes. Just, I think the oils and stuff that are in there benefit my eyelashes. Like, they make them look so much fuller, so much thicker. Which you don't expect, like, aftercare with a mascara. Like, so the way I do my eyelashes now, I'll curl my eyelashes with an eyelash curler. Then I'll put this on. I'll leave it to completely dry, like, completely touch dry so there's nothing coming off on my fingers. And then I'll go in and put this one over the top. And honestly, it's the best combination. I love it. Some people don't like using two different mascaras, but I love them both. We're not talking about this though. <laughs> all in all, I really like this mascara. Like, I really hope that they make a waterproof version of this like they did with the first Lash Sensational one because it will literally be my dream come true. So carrying on with the theme of eyes, I wanted to talk to you about an eyeliner that I've been using recently, and that is the Rimmel Gel Eyeliner. I decided I wanted to try and use this because in a set that I got when I did my first ever video, I will link it down below, it's called the Zo Zoeva Zoe Bag First Impressions or something like that, I can't remember what I called it. I got a brush in that set which was like um, a gel eyeliner brush or something and I hadn't really ever used gel eyeliner before, I only used liquid eyeliner because I find it so easy and there's one that I use in particular, the Rimmel Glam Eyes I think it's called, which has the tiniest little brush head like nib thing ever, which means you can get such a sharp line when you're doing eyeliner, which I absolutely love. I find it difficult to do eyeliner anyway because I've got hooded eyes, and ever since then I've never bought an eyeliner that doesn't have a really, really tiny nib. I ended up looking at a few eyeliner tutorials, and a lot of people that do the eyeliner tutorials use gel liner, and I really like the finish that it gives at the end. It took me a few tries to get it right, now that I've sort of got it down to a routine and stuff that works for me. I absolutely love it, I use it every day now. I use the gel liner and the brush as a guideline first, and then I'll go over it with my liquid eyeliner just to make sure that it sort of, like setting spray, holds everything into place. I found myself now, especially in the summer, getting really watery eyes, like if it's windy, my eyes start to water. If it's sunny, my eyes start to water. I, I can't win. So I found that layering up my eyeliner does really help keep it all together and keep it intact, basically. So yes, I really like this. They're really inexpensive as well. I think this one was around about like five pound or something. I don't know, which is pretty good for an eyeliner because you can get some hella expensive ones that are probably exactly the same. So the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is something that has been an absolute lifesaver for me recently, especially since I have my hair cut. You probably don't know, but I actually have really curly hair. When my hair gets wet and I let it naturally dry, my hair kind of goes like coil curly especially when it's been cut and if you have curly hair then you'll know that when your hair is like that kind of curly it can sometimes get out of control frizzy like when it is humid my hair starts to frizz so much even just after I blow dried it sometimes my hair is still so frizzy and like fluffy I cannot get it to smooth down like my dream is just to have nice smooth straight hair will I ever find a product that will help my hair stay smooth and straight even when I go outside when it's hot or when it's cold or when it's, you know, drizzly, will I ever find something? And the answer was yes. I managed to find this. 
This is the Baptiste Styler Smooth It Frizz Tamer Spray, which according to the bottle helps keep you frizz free for up to 12 hours, which is perfect, which also has keratin and Inca Inchi oil, whatever that is. Like, I don't know what that is, but it sounds crazy. <laughs> what I do with this is I spray it on my hair once I've blow dried it, give it a brush through. Instantly, you can feel a difference. You can feel that it's nice and smooth. There is a little bit of texture to it as well, which is nice. It lasts for ages. This one is pretty much almost empty because I've been using it so much. I use it every single time I blow dry my hair. This one, I think, costs around about 450 when I went and got it from Boots. And if it was more expensive and I knew that it worked, I'd probably still pay the money because I knew that it'd be worth it. So guys, that was my August favourites. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting to see what my favourites were. Let me know in the comments down below what your favourites are for this month. And also let me know if you've used any of these products or you are inspired to use any of them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!